Today we're gonna to be taking a look at arguably one of the coolest pre-builds we've seen on Amazon. For only $460, you get an RX 580 with 16 gigs of VRAM and an Intel i7 processor, and it's in a case that looks way more premium than its price tag. But before I open this thing up, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProtoArc and the Royal Axe L98 mechanical keyboard. The Royal Axe L98 features a 1.14 inch TFT LCD screen for showcasing time, connection mode, and battery level, while also allowing users to display custom GIF animations through the download loadable software. It also comes with a vibrant RGB dynamic light strip of five modes, further enhancing the keyboard's visual appeal. The Royal Axe L98 also comes with pre-lubed Gatoron G Pro yellow switches, lube stabilizers, soundproofing plates, and double shot PBT keycaps to provide the ultimate typing experience and fantastic sound feedback. With 22 RGB light modes, adjustable brightness, and a monochromatic light switch, you can easily match your setup style with this wireless gaming keyboard. If you're interested in learning more or in buying the Royal Axe L98 mechanical keyboard, check out the link in the description down below. Big thanks again to ProtoArc for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, it's time to open this giant package up. And of course, it's from STG Abroad. Of course, it's STG that makes these, well, really weird computers on Amazon. But again, for $460, we got the RX 580 16 gig, which we've only seen on AliExpress. Really weird, I'm gonna guess it's a 2048 stream processor as well, but we'll verify that. And um, it's inside a case that, oh man, looks way more premium than the price we actually paid for it. Yeah, and I think uh, this is one of those ones where it comes with a good amount of peripherals, but they're not in this box. So if I knew this box was one. smaller, I would have just opened it already, <laughs> but here we are. Oh wait, hold up. Everyone deserves their own gaming PC. You know what? I oh. can agree with that statement, STG. I like this one too. All right, so let's see what all we end up getting with this. I'm praying for my Bluetooth speaker. Oh yes, let's go. All right, so we get a STG Abron uh, backlit game keyboard. It's a game a, keyboard. It's a game keyboard. And uh, it's probably gonna be just like all the other ones. You know, we always like to open these up because we never know. I mean, it could be wireless. It could, maybe someday we'll get something with mechanical switches that just comes with it, but. Probably not great for long-term use, but it'll get it, the job done. It's kind of MimCam sounding, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's that going for it. And it's probably, it says backlit, so I guess it's gonna be RGB one color. Oh, uh, this is Jackson's favorite. <laughs> the wireless the Bluetooth speaker. That yeah. doesn't work half the time. Yeah, I hate this thing. If, if you want to just take your phone and like use this as a Bluetooth speaker, it works great. But plug it into your PC, it's it's not that great. But it looks cool. It looks cool. It has RGB. Um, mm -hmm. We also, what, what is this? We got a, oh, that's just a spacer box. And then we have a mouse pad oh, that's a little. RGB. RGB, not too bad. RGB mouse pad. There should be a mouse in here too. Um, at least the, oh, there it is. It's hiding in here. They did a good job like hiding stuff within like the crevices of the foam and uh, a mouse. There you go. Yeah, the, the, the mouse, if I remember right, it's not like terrible. These ones like, we always end up getting like damaged. But I think this one's in one piece, hey, look at that. They've gotten a lot better. We've not had bad. a period of time where we got these mice and they all showed up broken, <laughs> like every single time. So the packaging wasn't great. But here's our computer and it's inside this nice foam and it is wrapped. STG likes to do like the, well, like plastic wrap all around their computers, which I guess is extra safe, but look at that. That's a nice unboxing experience, not ah, too shabby. Power cord. Power, power cord. cord. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take this off. And as you can see already, this case is interesting. This isn't a case you normally see on these budget PCs. I want to know who makes it too, because it's kind of cool. I wonder if that's a, is this a picture of their facility? Because that thing is clean. Yeah, that's their the facility. Dang, look at that white room <laughs> facility right there. We'll rip this off so Jonah can look at it, but it looks like we already had some intrusion with our plastic <laughs> rut row. It is kind of cool, yeah, how it's like shrink wrapped and everything. But what happened to this? It's like, oh, it's yeah, like we got a little melted. Yeah, melted. <laughs> not, not, not too good there, but. We'll go ahead and take this thing out real quick. And as you can see, we have like a O11 dynamic style design where the glass wraps around, which again, that's another feature you don't really see very often in, well, budget cases. Now we do get a, a Wi-Fi adapter and a Bluetooth adapter. They're those really tiny little ones though that like aren't the best, but like they're free. Like they come with it, so that's cool. Uh, we also get a remote for changing the lighting. They give us instructions too, which one of the most important instructions is to take out any of this uh, expanding foam in here. So I'm gonna take this out and see what's inside. And I just wanna see the 580 16 gigs. I never expected a pre <laughs> company to actively make a line for that graphics card. But if you saw our video, it doesn't make any sense because you never fully utilize the 16 gigs of VRAM to actually help you performance wise. Yeah, not on a 580. It's just, it's just not a powerful card. So like there's no game that can get that much VRAM usage out of it. Okay, so we're looking at a, well, there's the 580. It looks very similar to the other ones. I'm gonna guess it's a 2048. Okay, it is. I can read the label, which again, 
SEG, you definitely need to advertise that. The title does say 580, 16 gig, but you gotta make sure it's a 2048 because that is a pretty big difference. Yeah, and for the for the people at home, because we always get these comments, we've known since the start, but the 2048, 588 gig performs like a 578 gig. Like that's really what it is, so. Um, and then the i7 under the cooler should be an i7 4770, which is a four core eight thread. They also don't really advertise that in the title. They just say i7 3.4 gigahertz. I'm proud of them for not saying quad core, but yes. um, it's even less vague really. But yeah, it's a four core eight thread they do give it a stock cooler that's gonna be like a argb stock it looks like for the drive we're using a, a sata drive so does this have a hard drive in a SSD? it just says 5 12 gig ssd so that oh, might be goodness. it thank goodness I mean, no i'm actually hard drive. okay with that yeah i'm okay with a bigger single ssd i i'm really tired of the like 240 gig ssd builds with like a one terabyte hard drive just give us the 5 12 gig and call From it a day 2012 yeah you, you really don't need it and it's so cheap to add your own storage if you buy one of these things you can easily add in another drive later yeah these things have extra sata ports on them so that's really not a problem but 512s, honestly, and I mean, for a PC like this, I don't think anybody's gonna be having like. Oh, it's plus it's, it's uh, King Fast. King Fast, look Not, at that. I wouldn't say the most name brand out there, but we have used them before and they're fine. Now we do get like what I would call like fake ARGB where it's these proprietary connectors, but you do get a remote. So you're gonna be able to fully change these fans to all different kinds of modes. And we'll demonstrate that. Um, as far as like the, the graphics side goes, it has a DVI and HDMI display port. And you can use all three of these. We do know that these cards do support triple monitors pretty well. All right, let's, let's see. see what we got. So it says it's from 2023, it has would, a quality check I wouldn't be surprised it. with the whole King Fast and all the other stuff that it's probably some like weird OEM power slide we've never heard of. It's tough. Like, I can oh, barely... Here we go, here we go. Can you tell? Yeah, it's, oh, it's STG Braun, uh, the SKPS500 and it doesn't look like it really has any ratings. Yeah, so it is their own branding, which again, no idea who the OEM is for it, but I, the, the wattage is fine. As long as it works out of the gate, I mean, I really have no complaints there. In terms of fans, it looks like we have an all exhaust setup, which is uh, very similar Ooh. to the other clones of this case we have seen. Uh, two RGB fans, all exhaust. We'll see what the temperatures are like, but with this hardware, I don't expect it to be too bad. I guess now we just gotta see what it looks like when we turn it on, see if the RGB works and see if it just actually works in general. Grab the plug. Where's the plug? See what she looks like. I got the plug. Jordan, do you want the honors of hitting the power button? Yeah. He said, yeah. 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 He, said, yeah. he said, yeah. Great start, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try that button again. Try now. Oh, did I turn it off? I think so. Oh, I turned it off. Ha ha, my bad. Yeah, I think it had a little bit of power still in it. Those That's why fans I turned it on. are so interesting. I don't like them. Is that, um, so it's a ring and a? It's like a, it's a ring, but it's not. Oh, it's like square. Yeah, it's like Isn't a it, um, is it Montec or someone that had, they have a square fan now like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a square fan, it's, it's different. Everything's synced up though. Um, does it need to use a remote or does a button work? We got a remote. I don't There think... is an LED button, but Try you don't it. think it works? No, it does not I work. I didn't see it hooked up, okay. that's why I was assuming. So remote only. What do you mean, look, it looks oh, fine. It's pretty well, yeah. It's not bad. I mean, it's definitely a different looking build. The reason this caught my eye is mainly the case, because you just don't see a case like this at this price point. Uh, uh -huh. But it is a cheaper case, and I'm very curious where this came from, because obviously they just got it and rebranded with STG, but... Yeah, it's interesting um, how they do like the black borders to kind of hide. Oh my God, it's oh, static oh, to my it, head. It is look at stuck this. to my man's head. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, for, for temperature purposes, we gotta throw the side panel back on this so we can see how exactly this thing runs. And we're gonna put it through some, some serious tests, guys, because uh, we wanna see what games it'll actually play. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're playing Overwatch 2, and we're currently on full screen 1080p, max FOV, and we have the frame rate set to basically uh, 300 FPS, which I don't think we're gonna get. We're running the medium. Preset. Yeah, we're noticing some stutter, some CPU bottleneck, um, like right there. There's definitely a stutter right there. That i7's not doing that great. Um, I don't know if Overwatch 2 is just not a huge fan of like older DDR3 now, but getting like 60 to 70 FPS, not not ideal, especially at this price point. Especially with like these, these lag spikes, that's, that's really what's hurting me. Yeah, these lag spikes are pretty rough, and there's a chance they may, may settle out. Yeah. We've seen this before with Overwatch, but it's been going for a while, so we'll see. And for those wondering, why did you say the 16 gig card uh, makes no sense? Well, we're using 2.4 gigs of VRAM at the moment. Oh, I mean, Overwatch is not a super demanding game, but uh, we're more CPU bottleneck than we are GPU bottleneck at this very moment, so. Still can't believe this card ever made it. <laughs> Let's go, Mercy. I'm gonna get some kills for you. Oh, ow, 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 oh. Ow. Yeah, now we're getting 120, 130 FPS. We're getting 50 to 60. I don't. 
I, I, maybe the i7 is doing some like weird shader thing in the background. I don't know, but yeah, no, this is significantly better. <laughs> I, just, I just ate that. I will protect you, Bastion. Yeah. Oh, that was just a turret. All right, here we go. I gotta work on actually getting some charge kills, man. I'll tell you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Dude, I'm literally just. I might as well just just uninstall this game from this PC. <laughs> oh no. Why did I... Dude, I literally had them, man. There yeah, we go. That's Let's your go. first death. Ah! Dude, literally just tanking damage this game. Okay. Uh, I'm, they're literally <laughs> behind me. They're in front of me. Where was your team at? What was this Dude, game? They, that was so bad. That was, that was so bad. That was, that was a rough overwatch experience. It lagged for a bit. And um, got it better. Got better. It yeah. got better. Let's try something better. else. Report our bat. Do it. Report him. Report him immediately. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. When you're watching this, the new Modern Warfare 3 may be out. So you know what? This may be old news. But you know what? We're running it at least right now for this benchmark. And Caleb's just bringing in another big box for us. Content. Smile. Um, as you can see, these are the settings we are currently running. We're running the basic preset 1080p with no upscaling because normally when you have a pretty big CP bottleneck, upscaling just doesn't even help, especially at 1080p. So we're going to turn it off, see what it does, and um, if we get pretty bad results, we might try upscaling and see if it helps at all. So let's deploy and see how things go. But um, I will say this is kind of predictable for these 580s. Um, the 580s don't run newer AAA titles very well, but they should at least get 60 FPS. But in some situations, especially this um, resurgence map, <laughs> oh god, I almost messed that up. Uh, but on this resurgence map, the FPS definitely is struggling a bit. Only getting, oh! Only getting they about 40 you. FPS. Oh, those Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins, that didn't look like Johnny Sins. They don't got a shot on him. They don't got a shot. They got a shot. Killed by Johnny Sins, 69 <laughs> Jesus points. Jesus Christ. This is the first time I've died that quickly in a, in a game in a while. Y'all ever wondered if uh, playing two matches of Call of Duty helps you out because it loads in textures? We're about to find out. Oh. Oh, oh that's just... Di oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was disrespectful. Oh, oh, oh. No. No, he didn't. <laughs> Let's go! No! Guys, I'm not good enough, so McAllister's gonna play for me. But if I do bad, then I'll stop. I'll, you know what? You can bring this up every time that I make fun of you. All right, McAllister, what you got? Okay, so I'm on this PC. I have no clue what it is, but uh, I'm, I'm giving this a shot so that I can either uh, learn how to be nicer about when their benchmarks go bad or approve my trash talk. <coughs> My Overwatch gameplay went horrible too. Did it really? Yeah. I guess I'll just play all like the benchmarks now. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I figured I'm gonna do fine anywhere. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he keeps I looking at him. But <gasps> oh! Oh. I'm still trying to figure out something. Why do people play this for fun? You did it! I don't know how to play this game, so I just like, literally. You suck! <laughs> Look at this texture, dude. Nah, buddy. Dude, that guy, he's chasing. Didn't realize that I'm stupid, too. Nicki Minaj! Uh, no! Oh, Nicki! Oh, Nicki, no! One more kill? Nope, not this guy. Oh, yeah! 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 t -Mac! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, my God, he almost just turned on you. Definitely. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, he has hit unlimited ammo. Like, this is a heavy sweat oh. gun for sure. Yeah, yeah they sweat. Yeah. Whatever, this is... A lot that thing had no recoil, I'm telling you. And it holds, like, 50 bullets. That's it. Oh! You better oh. go. I thought you were going to shoot, start shooting him a lot earlier. Please, please, please. Oh, yes! <laughs> All right, thank Christ. 11th place. I, I had a great. time. I won't say good or bad, but... Well, it was okay. No upscaling. We had some lag spikes, but... And the was going to do something with that, but we're not done testing this thing. We're going to build some benchmarks, and then we're going to wrap this video up real quick. Okay, guys, we just got done benchmarking our gaming PC, and, you know, it's actually not too bad. We didn't have any major issues with it. The 
The temperatures weren't actually too bad either. It sounds pretty good. It looks pretty good. So no major complaints. Yeah, the price point is not too bad. That 580 16 gig is a weird choice though. I'd prefer them go with like a normal 588 gig and get the price a little bit lower. But you know what? All in all, it's a pretty decent deal compared to other PCs we've seen on Amazon. So let us know in the comment section down below what you think of this PC. And if you want to shop around for PCs like this, check the link in the description down below. They are affiliate links. They will help us out. Let us know what you think of this style of case as well. And uh, do you guys know what the OEM is? Let us know down below because it's kind of a cool case. We might want to do a budget build in here on the channel. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our choice.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.tech and it'll have a little bit of a discount with it along with a new one year warranty. PCBros.tech, we know what we're doing guys. Buy a PC today, just go Toasty Bros. 2 and check out and save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. We know what we're doing.